tip number three, be strategic. All right, that's sort of obvious, but let's think about what we mean by be strategic. One thing is, and I, I say this to a lot of people and it always cracks me up because I can always tell that nobody will ever do it. Uh, one thing is, you can take the exam to learn the exam. Like, so what does that mean? It means, what's the best way to learn how the exam works? Well, just go take it, right? Let's say you studied for three days and went and took them all. You know, just take, take a couple days off, go take them all. Well, what if you passed three or four of them? Wouldn't that be awesome? Think about that. You would then only have to focus your studies on the ones you didn't pass. So you spent a few days and a few hundred bucks uh, to take away half of the process. Totally doable. If I was saying this to a bunch of MBAs, those MBAs would say, wait, wait, you're telling me that nobody will ever see my score, that I don't have to tell anybody that I've taken it or not taken it or anything. Uh, the, I would learn a huge amount from taking it. Well, I'll just go tomorrow and do it. Almost no architects will do it because architects don't want to walk into something they know they might fail. It's the weirdest thing. Like, it doesn't matter. You could totally do it. I mean, I know it costs money. It's a, I, there are issues. But you could totally do this, right? Uh, and you would learn a huge amount. So that's one of the options. Don't fret about it. Like, some people get into these things where they sign up for the exam, and then they, like, put it off again. Oh, I have that that wedding coming up and they, so they put it off. Oh, we have that big project and so they put it off again. Like, you will never not have a wedding coming up. You will never not have a big project. You will never be less busy. I know that sounds amazing to you because you probably feel like you're pretty damn busy. You will never be less busy. It doesn't happen, right? Just take it. If you fail it, who cares? You gotta wait six months, big deal, right? You'll learn a huge amount just from that process. Another thing about uh, being strategic, Treat it as a social event. Uh, this is one of the things I love about this exercise. Uh, the fact that you know we're going to go through these top ten tips and then we're going to uh, head downstairs for the folks that are here uh, um, uh, in in Chicago. Uh, that's a great resource. Uh, if you have friends who are going through the same process, maybe somebody buys one set of books and you buy another set of books, and then you can share them back and forth. Right? Suddenly you've got people who you can meet with and you say, all right, we're going to meet on Saturday for three hours. That means you have to actually have gone through it and force yourself into that process. It forces you to keep on a pace. Right? Treat it as a social experience. Uh, know the NCARB system and where you are within that process. So understand how the rolling clocks work, all of that kind of thing. I'm not going to really get into it because it's different in different states and we have people in different places. But you should understand the rolling clocks. Um, often there is more than one rolling clock, like for the folks in Illinois, there's actually two rolling clocks. You have a three year and a five year, it's kind of complicated. Um, know where you are in that whole process. And then the other thing is you should know that there's a transition about to go on, which is uh, the um, uh, ARE is going to be going from the ARE 4 uh, series to the ARE 5 series. So we're moving over to the ARE 5.0. So the current exam in 4.0 uh, or 4.1 or whatever it is now, uh, is construction documents and services, um, programming, planning, and practice. So it's uh, there's the CDNS, and then there's programming, planning, and practice, PPP. There's site planning, uh, building design and construction systems, which is what people used to refer to as means and methods. Uh, there's structural systems, there's building systems, and then there's schematic design, which is the only current one that is all vignette. Uh, essentially, all the other ones have vignettes within them. They have multiple choice and vignettes, drawing vignettes. Uh, the schematic design is all vignette. And what the 5.0 is going to move to, so that's seven exams. The 5.0 is going to go to uh, six exams, practice management, uh, which is obviously about um, how your firm works, uh, how you set up the insurance, all of those kinds of things. Project management, which is like project delivery, is it uh, design build, is it uh, design bid build, uh, what kind of contracts are being used, uh, how do the change orders work, uh, programming and analysis would be all that sort of uh, stuff that you need to know uh, prior to uh, really starting um, uh, starting a, 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 an exam, a, 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 an architectural project. So uh, what's the site like, what's the soil like, what's the 
uh, topography like? What's the context like? Uh, is the feasibility logical? Uh, is the program match the goals? All of those kinds of things would show up in that one. Uh, project planning and design uh, becomes, this is where you start looking at actual design work and uh, the, the, the uh, like things like exiting and sort of general planning issues about how the, the design actually is going to move forward. Uh, and then the fifth one there is um, uh, uh, project development and documentation. So that one is uh, not about the design, but about communicating that design. Right? So it's the drawing set, it's the specifications, it's uh, all of that kind of stuff. And then this last one, which is kind of the most intriguing one to me, uh, is construction and evaluation. Um, this is the one uh, for 5.0 that feels the most um, unknown to me uh, because there hasn't been in the past a lot of evaluation uh, questions. There's always been some evaluation questions on there, but not a whole exam worth. So it's kind of an interesting question. I have a feeling it's more about CA, construction administration, than it is about evaluation, but um, it will be interesting to see as they start to give us more information what, what's really going to go into that exam. So you have a situation where we're going from uh, seven exams that have uh, questions um, that you have to answer and also vignettes into six exams that no longer are going to have vignettes. So the drawing program is going to go away in 5.0. Uh, it will be replaced with ideas uh, like case studies and things like that. So the case studies are going to be where there'll be a bunch of different pieces of information. Uh, you might have a snippet of uh, code, a snippet of uh, spec, and maybe a drawing. And then there might be four or five different questions about that grouping of information. So you have to kind of piece things together in sort of a multifaceted way. Um, one thing is clear to everybody, and anybody who's heard me talk about this stuff before knows, uh, has heard this uh, before, um, the vignette program is kind of ridiculous. It's a it's a crazy it's like you're drawing in PowerPoint, right? I mean it's a it's a ridiculous uh, uh, program. Now it kind of has to be a ridiculous program because, first of all, it was designed in '94. Like you know we were using 486s I think in '94, right? This is uh, this is a very different computer age uh, than it was then. Um, and uh, the sort of if you if you use say AutoCAD or, or Revit or anything like that, well then the people who don't use that particular program would be at a disadvantage. So they thought about kind of redoing a new program where they could where you could do drawing, and it's just too expensive. It just didn't make any sense. And they realized it's better to actually just show images and then have you review the Im information in them and kind of work it through that way. So there's going to be a lot of different ways that you can kind of manipulate information, uh, but it was not going to be the drawings anymore. So here's a key thing about being strategic. Uh, I have no idea if the case study process, especially the, for the first year of that and all the other changes that are being made are going to be easier or harder. I have no idea. I do know already that the vignette programs are ridiculous, but I also know how to study for them, right? You can figure that out. There's lots of information around. In many ways, the devil you know may be better than the devil you don't know. 5.0 is not going to come into play for well over a year, uh, and then there'll be a year and a half, I believe, 18-month um, period where both will be offered. So you have actually plenty of time to just do it in 4.0. But be strategic. Figure out which one you want to do. Figure out what fits in your time scale, and then do that. Know that this is coming because it can start to get a little complicated. And speaking of being strategic, uh, one thing is worth noting, um, which actually comes off of the straight off of the NCARB site. Um, if you were super clever uh, and were trying to be as efficient as possible, you could actually do uh, one, two, and three here, construction documents and services, programming, planning, and practice, and site planning and design. If you passed all those in 4.0, you, if you note uh, that, right, those all fit there. Uh, the only pieces of information that you hadn't covered are now in two other ones. So you could conceptually only take five exams. <laughs> How about that? Right? Now, I'm intrigued by this, uh, these two exams because uh, here in the 4.0 we have structural systems and we have building systems and we have schematic design and we have uh, building design. Lots of, uh, of those topics have a lot of information, like everything about 
all the HVAC systems and concrete and wood and all that stuff and structures and all the structural things. Those are all going into these two exams. So I have no idea what those exams are going to be like. But if your idea of efficiency is doing fewer exams, there you go. Be strategic. But my suggestion, just do it. Just start signing up. Figure out a timeline that makes sense for your, your ability to study and just make it happen. Blackspectacles.com is the home of online learning for architecture and design. You can go to blackspectacles.com, kind of get a taste of this online ARE prep curriculum we built with AI Chicago and Mike, covering all seven sections of the exam. And there are free tutorials in every one of those courses. As a part of today's session, you're eligible for coupon codes for your ARE membership. 15% off the monthly membership and 30% off an annual membership all through the end of the month. And we're doing group memberships. So if you want to get one for your firm or you want your firm to buy one for you, you can go to blackspectacles.com slash business or just email me. We're running a promotion again where business memberships are 15% off as well. Our next webinar is going to be different. What we're going to do is we're going to sort of have a no holds barred Q&A session with Mike. It's not specific to an exam. Whatever exam you're working on, you have a question, you've tried to solve a vignette and you don't like your answer, you're unsure about your answer, put it in a PDF and email it to me. And what we'll do is we're just going to take them first come first serve and everyone who submits them will take an hour and Mike will answer them one after the other. So it'll be a cool event because if you actually have a question, you can get a real answer. And if you just want to see what other people are kind of wrestling with, it'd be a great way to learn from other people's questions and problems and so on. So that's going to be on April 22nd.